Hi folks, I'm Sean and welcome to the Routing Blog channel. In this video we're going to talk about how you can apply a toning change to your colours, similar to colour grading in films, but for photos. We're going to do this using the split toning panel, which is in develop obviously. And so there are two parts to it, there are the highlights and the shadows, and then there's a balance between them. So you have a hue control for both the shadows and the highlights, and the hue sets the colour of the highlights in this case, but if we move it, we can see that it does absolutely nothing at all whatsoever. And that is because we need to have some kind of saturation to do that. So let's say I just put it up to 56 and move across. And that'll allow us to see change the colors. As you can see, it's a bit extreme though. I generally tend to use it with very, very little saturation. And we'll see that in a second. But I'm going to show you a trick first. Uh, I double click to reset. And the trick is that if you hold down the Alt or Option key, as you move the hue, it gives you the look of a hue at 100% saturation. So that way you can choose the color more exactly. So for the highlights, we're going to kind of go for the, the cinematic teal and orange kind of look. So I'm going to go for a teal highlight and I'm going to bring that up now. So I'm just bringing up the saturation to taste. So let's warm up the image beautifully. So that's nice there. And now I'm going to repeat exactly the same thing with the shadows. This time we're going for that kind of teal kind of a green look, so it's somewhere between blue and green. That's too green, I'd say. That's kind of okay. And now we can introduce the saturation to taste. So that's given us a quick look at the teal and orange kind of look. Now there's obviously plenty of other looks that you can do with this, and I'm going to show you some of them now in a second. So I'm going to, do is I'm going to turn on and off the panel here, so you can see the difference that it makes. You can also change the balance. So let's say I wanted to skew more towards the highlights so I can introduce more of the orange. I do that by using the balance control and then I can pull it back the other way altogether to go for a cooler tone uh, with more of the teal visible. Now I'm going to double click on highlights and double click on shadows to reset and double click on balance. So that's one look you can do with it. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a very quick toned look. So in this case, I'm going to press the V key for a quick black and white. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to apply a color to the shadows. In this case, I'm going to just bring up the tone slightly. And I want to go for a sepia kind of a toning, which is kind of a brown tone. And generally between kind of 25 and 35, maybe as much as 40, will give a nice look for that. And so that's how I would do that particular tone. There's also kind of bluer tones that you can do and things like that for to emulate things like a cyanotype. And then there's other sort of tones where you're kind of more towards the purple or browns as well. Now, not CP toned, but more a selenium kind of toned. So that would be something like that. So that's a couple of the different tonings that you can do using split toning as well. Now you could, of course, there's nothing to stop you introducing a highlight color. And there's nothing that says that the highlight color has to be a cool color or a warm color. Uh, but a lot of people would use warm colors generally for highlights. But there is no right or wrong. Do whatever you think is like is you know is right and suits you. So I'm going to again, double click to reset all of those. And I'm going to press the V key again just to get back to color. And I should show you an alternative set of colors in this case, just as another example. So there's a thing called cross processing. Cross processing is where you've used uh, film chemicals from one type of uh, negative. So it could be a slide, which is a positive actually. Um, so you process a slide in negative chemicals. Uh, so that's E6 in E4 or C41 chemicals. You can actually get very green shadows if you're using a film like Velvia, for example. And I've shot with Velvia and that's very green and yellow. So a bit, a bit different and then maybe a little bit sickly. But in actual fact, this is the tone that it looks like when you process them. Having had done said processing myself in the past for experimentation. So that's a very quick look at how you can get that cross process or tone look using split toning. So folks, if you haven't subscribed, please do subscribe to the channel. Lots more content coming on board. I'll be doing a little bit of stuff about develop before I jump back to library. Uh, so do get on board. If you liked the video, do give me a thumbs up and hit the notification bell if you want to get informed of when the new content goes up. Like I say, I'm doing stuff quite regularly. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.